is Michael Grauberg, and I'm going to be discussing my consumer here, uh, my consumer nudge, and then my organizational nudge. So the consumer nudge I'm trying to create is one to reduce the use of plastic bags and disposable bags and use re reusable ones. And my plan to do this is to team up with Kroger and the Detroit Lions to make a blue bag with the Detroit Lions and Kroger logo on it for them to sell. And this can be used at Kroger grocery stores to reuse bags and buy groceries. And according to Eric Van Silbum of the World Economic Forum, it is estimated that around 8 million metric tons of plastic waste end up in our oceans per year. So this may be just a small number um, for these plastic bags, but this will help the overall saving. And this, my demographic here is Detroit Lions fans and people who buy groceries specifically in the southeast area of Michigan. And that's where my geography is located as well. So the behavior I'm trying to change here is to get consumers to be more environmentally conscious to think of using reusable bags um, to reduce waste. So as I stated, these bags will be sold. It'll be sold for 25 cents and it'll be a blue bag with the Lions and Kroger logo. So this can work for advertisement for both of Kroger and the Lions and Kroger can attract mm -hmm. some new customers who might not previously be there. And the type of nudge I'm trying to create with this is an encouraging one because I'm encouraging consumers to use these bags. And then the principal nudge I'm trying to do is an incentive base. And the incentive is you, you're using these bags that you buy so you can use as many times as you want. And then also promoting the Detroit Lions who in return will also have free advertisement after these bags are purchased. And that is the nudge I have. It's a good idea. I think initially uh, the major concern you may run into is people wanting to spend even a quarter on a bag. And I'm thinking that you might encourage more people to participate in something like this and purchasing the bags and using them if maybe the Lions, since they have a lot to gain from this whole thing, maybe they provide a little bit of extra incentive um, for for people that purchase the bags. You know, if, if you purchase five or six or seven bags, you know, you might have an opportunity to win some sort of sports paraphernalia or something along those lines, just to create interest initially. And I think once people per actually purchase the bags and start using them, it'll become habit and, and it'll probably be very successful, both for the Lions and for Kroger's. So I just think initially it's getting people involved and excited. Okay. Um, so, if you can garnish garnish that kind of excitement initially, I think that'll be the one of the major problems you might have to overcome initially. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> now, my company slash organizational nudge. Um, this will be located in Southeast Michigan, specifically with General Motors, and this nudge would be to offer General Motors white collar employees specifically at the Renaissance Center in downtown Detroit, a fully paid vacation um, to, the hot, to the employee who increases their productivity the most. This vacation will be offered quarterly, so four people, four times a year, and it'll be worth up to $3,000. Now, I'm trying to push a full paid vacation because uh, vacation time for employees really has good benefits, and according to Tanya Moan of Forbes, she uh, looked up a study that was done by the U.S. Travel Association and Oxford Economics, which was basically going into detail about how vacation time can really help employees' mental health, uh, motivation, and morale. So offering a full paid vacation is a good way to increase productivity. And this is good for GM, too, because it was just announced that in January they'll be laying off up to 15,000 employees and also shutting down two plants. So clearly they're trying to maximize their capacity at their existing buildings, and this would be another good way to help with that. So that is also the behavior change I'm trying to um, promote here, um, the productivity, I wanna change the motivation employees have and get that up to speed. And a way to do this, there's many ways to do this, but the way I wanna implement this is to use data, analytics, and statistics, mainly upper level management at General Motors at the Renaissance Center can assign outputs to employees and then achieve that by 
taking a sample such as the period of time in which that output is created and divide that by an input to get a cost-benefit ratio. Um, you can also use the human eye as well for visually seeing how these employees are doing throughout the day and this can be done by supervisors in the buildings or building excuse me. So this will be measured quarterly and then at the end of the quarter four times a year it, one employee will be given this paid vacation. So the type of nudge that I'm trying to create with this is an encouraging nudge because I'm encouraging high productivity from these existing employees. And this also is an incentive nudge based on principle, the incentive being the vacation, as I've stated, uh, mainly to help the company and the employees because the company employees will have higher morale and motivation to do their jobs. And then the company will also benefit from this by saving money. And that is my nudge for the organization. Okay, uh, again, a good idea. I think the major issue you're going to come into with this is um, how you're going to objectively track people's productivity. And I know you mentioned that. Um, there's just uh, a lot of things that could be looked at subjectively that, that you know, are accountable towards your productivity. And I think Rather than um, just do it using pure analytics, um, I think one way to overcome that when you get to the point where you're rewarding this quarterly bonus, if that's what you want to call it, or incentive to people, is um, maybe you take the top four or five people who, who have reached this magic number or, or magic goal of, of being and being considered for the incentive of the vacation and then almost like doing a, a random lottery or something like that because I just think there's a like I said before it's too subjective a lot of times when people think that they're being very very productive and they might not be or it's that's the hardest part I think you're gonna run into with that I think I think awarding a quarterly is, is a beautiful thing. That's that's four vacations for people. You know, I know it's a large corporation, but that's that's quite an incentive and I think hopefully it would it would work for people. I just think there's gotta be a way to overcome the subjectivity of awarding that incentive. Okay. So All right, well thank you for your time. You're welcome. My pleasure.